Hey, if y'all from um TikTok, cause I really need all my mamas, or if you a single daddy, you feel me? I really need y'all opinions on this. Okay, so y'all remember that story I told y'all about how the girl was tired and at the pediatrician. I was gonna fight her. Okay, that day I took my kids to the pediatrician to get a checkup. Okay, and I got one boy. That's Cario. He got on my bonnet. And I got one girl. Okay? Their genitals are different. And the way you sanitize and clean down there is a lot different. Okay, so let's get into it. I grab her that night from Papa No. I go grab her. You feed me. Um, And I didn't check her pamper that night because it was dry and she was asleep. So the next morning, boom, bam, bam, we get up. It's time to change the diaper. Motherfucker, I pulled down my baby diaper. And I was like, that's entirely too much discharge. She's two. Like, something ain't right. So, I made a point me in the next day we was up in there. You feel me? Like, it's so many things that I have to be paranoid about. Because I was breastfeeding her. And y'all know that she could lay dormant. And I just be like, you know, the little signs, you can't tell me. He ain't tell me shit. I'm just going to put that in there. So, because he be having her majority of the time. But the thing is, he don't really be having her. This nigga is a workaholic. He drive trucks. He work for a moving company. We already know. And then he be tricking on the road or some more shit. You feel me? But he's never home. She is always with the other girl. You know, they was born on the same day. You feel me? He's still with that baby mama. So, my thing is, and he said last night, he was like, Samia, um, don't never have no odor in. That's because Samia is kept clean. Okay, my baby wouldn't have discharge and odor down there if she was being kept clean. Do you guys understand what I'm what I'm saying? Where I'm coming from? You feel me? Like any mother in her right mind, bitch, you gonna jump the end conclusion you can, bitch. I'm I wanna not. I, I need to explore every every whatever. I need to know what the fuck going on with my child. If it's a simple yeast infection, then okay. But whatever. So this is the dilemma. Boom. I call him today. You know when the pediatrician. You know, when the doctor had done diagnosed her, you know, with basically poor hygiene. Not neglect, but bitch, poor hygiene. You feel me? I'm explaining to the doctor. I'm on his side. I'm like, look, he is never there. And I don't want him to feel like I'm coming for the other bitch because I really don't like her in real life. You feel me? But I do put up with her because my child is in that house and I do not want you to mistreat my child. Let me tell y'all about me. Anything I buy for Lena, I buy for her twin sister. That's me. I don't give a fuck what you do and what you don't do for my child. But if I'm able, and I'm able, I'm going to get for both. Because that's not right. Anyways, y'all, am I wrong? Okay, let me, hold on. Let me backtrack. I called him. I know he was at work. So that was cut short. I was like, look, ain't nobody in trouble. You feel me? And that was that. He was like, all right, I'm going to call you when I get out of work. So I guess he felt like I was attacking the bitch. So he called me the next day and snapped on me about some other shit. So I let, I let it be. I was like, you know, he hot. You know, he having a hard time because this is his daughter and that's his bitch. You feel me? Like, he trying to keep the peace. Like, and I'm not trying to disrupt y'all peace. I'm not even asking you to, to notify this bitch. But if you're going to leave my child with her, can you just tell her to change her pamper a little bit more often? Like, she can't sit in that. First of all, my baby is a premature baby. She has tons of issues. I'm pretty sure she's developing a lot of yeast and it has to go somewhere. Okay? But educate yourselves. This is what I'm telling you, bruh. Because I'll beat your ass about my child, bitch. I go straight to hell with gasoline. Falls on, bitch, about my child. Oh, so, boy, he snap on me. You feel me? That day. And then yesterday, Valentine's Day, I'm like, look, come get Lena or he ain't got no car right now. I got the wheel. So I drive, you feel me, to drop her off. He was like, oh, I'm going to be on that end anyways. Um, I'm going to grab her. This bitch, y'all, he stayed till my shit all fucking day. And then I had a, um, me not a meeting, a day with the white boy at seven. You feel me? I'm going to tell y'all about that bitch in a minute. Um, Like, it was just so much going on. And he wasn't respecting nothing that I was saying. So he ended up, you feel me, just like bulging his way in. And then we were sitting just like this. He was over there. I was over here. And I was like, you know, I wanted to talk about this situation when I took Nina to the pediatrician. I don't want you to feel like I was attacking the girl. And, y'all, this nigga flipped the fucking script. Anything pertaining to this hoe, he would cuss me out like a dog. You hear me? But then he had the audacity. I let him hold my car and everything just so he could get the fuck away from me. He said he had to go do something. And at this point, I don't care. I know you coming back because you got to bring my car back. But at this point, bye. Bye. I'm over you. Like, this bitch, he got the keys because they attached to the, um, to the shit. Y'all, 
He gonna come in my room and talk about what's up. I got a few more minutes before I leave. I was like, bye. I gave that nigga $150 for him to leave me the fuck alone. I'm not fucking with you, bro. I'm good off of you. My nigga, you cussed me out about our child. I'm I'm concerned about the well-being of our child. You feel me? I ain't even, like, I, I disclaim it at all.